Alright, so we're just looking at uh, covering using our Aero Microfilm, and here it is here. And I'm actually just going to cover a, uh, a glider wing here. So of course the first thing we need to do is put our wing over the film and actually just cut out a section. And the section I'll be doing is this inside section of the wing here. So we'll just mark that out and, uh, and cut out a piece to the correct size. All right, so I'll cut out my piece here. And um, as you can see, I've made it uh, just a, a fraction bigger than the surface I want to cover. Now, the reason is because this is the bottom surface, it's not going to wrap around uh, the top too much. I'm just allocating probably about two or three meters to, I mean, millimeters to, to lap over there. Uh, however, when I cover the top, the top will actually fold down underneath and I'll probably leave up to a centimeter to fold down and, uh, and cover underneath. Okay, so that's the piece there. And the next, next thing is to actually remove the backing. So to remove the backing, we just use a piece of tape and there's a clear backing on this film. Uh, most of the time, if you just put the tape on, you can just do this and peel the backing off. Okay, and the backing comes off. It's, uh, it's got this uh, tendency to, to roll up, but when you take the backing off there, it, uh, it sort of sits down flat. Okay, so there it is. It's all ready for us to start tacking and uh, applying to the airframe on the underneath side. Right, so what we're going to do, I'm, uh, I'm just using a, a standard household iron here. Uh, I really recommend that you actually get a proper um, application iron if you're doing any amount of uh, this sort of covering. Uh, but just for the purposes of this video, I'll just do it with that plain household iron. And the important thing is to, to get your temperature right. So make sure you test your iron on a, uh, a part of the surface and make sure the temperature is not too hot. Okay, so what we do is we start tacking it down. Just make sure it's centrally positioned. Okay, just start tacking it in the center. Okay, that's tacked down there. And then we just tack it at either end. And we'll do this on the back and the front of the wing. And this basically just, uh, just holds it in place. There's the back done. And this just holds it in place and tight for when we start doing the next step, which is where we actually tack all the way around the edge. Okay, so these tacks that you're doing now, uh, with the iron on, on a bit lower heat, they can actually be easily pulled off and redone if you, if you need to. Okay, so there we have. It's all tacked at uh, six points there, which should hold it in place. That should hold it in place while we actually do the... Um, Okay, there we go. Well, we actually do the the uh, the whole back of the seam here and the front. Okay, so once it's tacked in place, okay, then we just go over it. And we do all along the back and the, the trailing edge and the leading edge. And we just work along like this and attach it to the frame. There we go. Okay, don't forget to do on the ends here along the, the ribs. Okay, I'm just doing the ribs at the end for the moment. Later on we'll do the, the ribs in, in the middle. But just for the moment, the ribs on the end. And then the leading edge, exactly the same as the trailing edge. Just going all the way along there and attaching it. Okay, so now it's it's attached all the way around, and now we can start actually rolling this over like so. And uh, you can see I don't have actually much left over there, but I'm sort of rolling it over. Anything that is left, I'm just rolling it over the surface onto the front of the the uh, leading edge. Okay, so at this stage you, you might want to make your iron a little bit warmer and uh, actually properly tack that down and, uh, and fix it in place. So there we go, that's the tacking process. Okay, so wherever it comes over onto the, the top here, I've got a couple of millimeters and 
basically we just uh, okay we just roll this over here and then tack it down on top okay so I've, uh, I've increased the heat of the iron a bit now so it's actually very firmly tacking it there okay so at this stage we've got the the sheet completely put on and uh, and tacked down on the leading edge and the trailing edge and we're ready just to, to tighten this surface up here now with the tightening of the surface you can you can leave the iron on the same heat as you've been using for the, the tacking and uh, just increase the heat as as needed and you probably will have to turn the heat up a bit if it's uh, if it's not hot enough and it all depends on the on the iron that you're using okay so you can see this one here it's not really tightening as as I want it so I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit and just leave it for a little while and try it again right here so the next part is simply to to heat the the film very lightly with the iron and uh, just increasing the heat of the iron gradually until you get the right heat and you can see it uh, it tightens up quite well like so you can see the part that I've done here already okay and it's all done you can pleat the wing by covering the other surfaces <laughs>